And welcome back, guys, to Falcon Plays uh, Faster Than Light. So, um, I recorded the first episode to kind of get a feel for the game. Really quickly, let me unpause this and get the game going as well. To kind of see what uh, you guys wanted, uh, if you guys wanted to see more of this and whatnot. And overall, the response for it was pretty uh, positive, it seems. Like, definitely, there was views and likes for it. So, I'm going to continue on. So, we're going to pick up where we last left off. Uh, the reason I haven't played up till now is because, you know, I wanted to see the gauge at the uh, interest in the series. So, we're going to continue on where we left off last time. Um, obviously, we're still working with the uh, the Kestrel, which I named the Shaggin' Wagon. And we have the Penske File and Dexter Dexterity LS, I should say. And we also got Banks. Where the fuck did we get this guy? I don't remember that happening. But, uh, yeah, I guess we recruited Banks at some point. So, right now, we're going to deal with an asteroid field, which sucks because it kind of breaks down your shields and whatnot. But, uh, you know, we'll have to, we're going to have to persevere for sure. So, um, really quickly here, uh, auto fire. Let's not stick to auto fire for now. Let's actually just, uh, use my, uh, burst laser to. I don't think we even need the Artemis here because their shield's gonna be kind of, uh, jacked up by the, uh, asteroid. So let me just go aim at their weapons straight up. Of course, we also run the risk of the, uh, asteroids taking down our shield and also taking damage. So hopefully it doesn't come down to that. Especially that beam of theirs. Sorry, luckily we did block the beam off and we did knock out their, uh,. I think they're burst laser, or not really burst laser. I think it's a fire cannon, some bullshit like that. I forgot all the names of the weapons here, believe me. <laughs> but uh, let's actually just keep focusing on their weapons. And there you go. They're pretty much jacked up at this point. They can't do much to us. Let me just quickly, for the hell of it, take down their shields as well. Maybe the asteroids will finish it off for us. And at least we're going to kind of persevere and save our missiles for this one. They're not going anywhere as well because their uh, captain ship is down. So, you know, tough luck to you guys. But uh, you guys can go in anywhere. All right, now let's see if this is going to give us any proper rewards. Hopefully the ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. How useful? One fuel, one missile, and 24 scrap. I guess it could have been worse. It's not too bad. Uh, we're dealing, we're doing pretty bad in terms of our health. We're below 50%, which is something I'm never too crazy about. Uh, let's get out of this asteroid field, and I kind of want to heal my guys before we proceed. Uh, let's jump over here and see if there's anything of interest here. Let's see. A rebel ship approaches cautiously. Personally, says the captain, I'd have to. I'd have a. I'd have. So well, I'd have to fucking learn how to read. I'd have stuck with the Federation. But I'm a soldier, sir, and I'm no use without a war to fight. Raise your shield. It's kind of like metal. Uh, like Metal Gear Solid, isn't it? Like soldiers without borders and whatnot. You know, they need war. That's what happened with Big Boss. He needed a a place to kind of take over. What happens after you stop being a soldier? Not much. Anyway, I'm not gonna get too deep about this. Let's continue on here. So they are suited with probably an Artemis and a burst laser as well, just kind of like us. So we might as well. Um, I could send an Artemis to the shield area, which I probably will. Probably better for the weapon, maybe. I I'm usually more of a type of guy that goes for the shields first, and then once that's out of the way, just go you know full on blast to the. Uh... All right. Luckily, their missile missed. So good job on that, Banks. Hopefully, yeah, you're doing pretty good on increasing our decks, our dodging there, Banks. So good job on that. Their shields are down now, so our burst laser should come in there and do quite a bit of nice work on their weapons. That's down with. Let's also screw around with their uh, pilot system so they have no chance of dodging. Auto fire is off for now because I don't want my Artemis to keep going over and over and over. Alrighty, not too bad. And now let's uh, be sure to take their shields down before they go back up. I doubt it will, but you know, just in case, you never know. And that should pretty much take care of that. And with one more to go, let's. Uh, Let's shoot at the space shot. I, that burst laser isn't going to do much for us anyway. It'll knock down our shields at best, but we'll probably take care of them before that, and we definitely did, so, you know, tough luck for that. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Got two missiles, two, uh, one drone part, and 19 scrap, so that's pretty good. Alrighty, so right now we're looking at 19 fuel. We're definitely good on fuel and missiles for sure. Uh, I don't think we have anything to sell, do we? No. Well, we definitely need some actual weapons and whatnot. I could upgrade our shit, which, uh, probably... Oh, I got the doors already. And by the doors, I don't necessarily mean the, uh, Jim Morrison led band and whatnot. Uh, let's, um, shields I could do. Oh, let's do two shields. Uh, why not? Just to be on the safe side. I'd rather have a little bit of safety going in. I know I spent a little bit too much scrap there that I really wanted to, especially run into a store with really good items. But, you know, I'd rather just be a little bit safe first. Shields aren't really too important this early on, so it's kind of uh, premature on my part. But I'm really, you know, aware of premature, believe me. 
Although my sexual uh, partners usually say that. But either way, a rebel autonomous scout is uh, exploring this beacon. You attempt to hide behind a nearby moon, but the ship finds you and begins its assault. Alrighty, so they're gonna try to FTL the fuck out of here, but... The ship starts to power up its FTL drive. To get this away, would no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Unfortunately for them, they have no shields, so Artemis uh, is not going to be really useful right now. We're just going to go straight up into their um, pilot ship, because um, if they get away, it's going to be problems for us. Hopefully we could dodge that uh, Artemis that they have, though. And even if we don't, as long as it doesn't hit our weapons... Okay, kind of hit a empty room there, so it's not too big of a deal. Um, however... It would probably be in our best interest to kind of take care of that. So how about you move over there really quickly. And we will just air this shit out. Alrighty, and then burst laser to... Might as well go for the weapons this time. Actually, you know what? Just to play it on the safe side, let me send an Artemis to their weapons. I don't want to get hit by another missile. Oh, I guess our Artemis hit their uh, laser. Okay, now they took down our sensors as well. That's fucking a load of shit right there. So, as you saw, I, sh I shot my Artemis, but it must have hit their laser, because um, <laughs> my Artemis never got there, unless it just got lost in the black hole in space. I don't think it works that way, though, so... Let's see, let's do a burst laser right there, and... Close up shop over here, open this up here to kind of circulate some air, and really quickly, since you're here, Penske... Earn your keep, Penske, and kind of uh, fix that, uh... uh... What is that again? Uh, the, the sensor room, right. Right. I guess I should probably keep my uh, earn my keep as well by being the fucking captain and knows his uh, sub rooms and whatnot. Their ship breaks apart, and you feel relief in the knowledge that you will hopefully still be one step ahead of the fleet. You earn one missile, one drone part, eleven scrap. So that wasn't really that great of a haul, but you know. So kind of circulated. Yeah, seems good enough. So Penske, get your ass back over here, uh, really quickly. I, I guess Penske, go over here along with Banks. Carlton Banks. Uh, yeah, I do remember Carlton Banks. We did recruit Carlton Banks. I even made that Carlton Banks reference. Much like I did again. So let you guys get a little bit of hell just in case you catch a stray missile to the face or something like that. Alrighty, Banks, go back over there. Turn this shit off, put it back in the engines, and let us continue onward. There's a distress signal over here, but if I jump over here, I have to do one, two, up. I think I could be able to make it. I think, hopefully. If it doesn't, then, you know, I'm kind of screwing myself here. As soon as you arrive at the distress signal, shots are fired towards your ship. A trap. Haha. -ha. I always love traps, especially when they uh, look really feminine and kind of lead you to believe that they're really a girl. And you're kind of like, whoa, where did that penis come from, baby? And what can I do to touch it? Either way, let's continue on here. Uh, Artemis to... Artemis to... They're going to send people to board us, which is perfectly fine. Artemis, let's go towards the... Uh, let's go with the... Let's go with the weapons. All right, they sent a rock golem over here, so uh, fuck you, rock golem. You're gonna don't don't mess with my doors, rock golem. You better not take that door down, you asshole. Oh, then again, I do have two level two doors, so that's perfectly fine. Artemis, yeah, continue going there. First laser, not entirely sure I'm gonna toss that just yet. Uh, he's gonna run now, yeah, yeah. Be worried that you're gonna be okay. That's not really good. So their weapons are kind of down, just kind of like ours. So, uh, Penske, can you go and help out Dexterity LS over here? Hopefully this fucking golem over here suffocates to death and kind of, uh, thinks twice about... Okay. Don't come at my, uh, don't come at me, as a matter of fact, is what I should say. Penske, go back in here. This guy's gonna be a total dick. Alrighty, uh, put my burst laser back online. Artemis, uh, send another Artemis to, oh, let's say... Let us say their cockpit. Just because I really want to say the word cockpit because I'm really immature. Alrighty, turn this on. Get out of here, Rockman. Don't come in here, Rockman. Alrighty. So, what do we got here? Uh, Aisha the Rockman. Okay, I feel really awkward fighting Aisha because, uh, kind of like, you know, this white dude fighting a. Alright, either way, I'm not. Leave off that. So turn that off, and uh, you, Penske, come and give me a hand over here, because Aisha might kick my ass. Believe me, it's happened before. I took a martial arts class, and I did indeed get beat up by a female. But you know what? She was twice my size, and you know, who puts you up against a female anyway? You can't fight a female. I mean, if you win, you know, people are like, you fought a female, dude. If you lose, you're kind of like, you lost to a female. You're fucked. It's kind of like, do or damn if you do, damn if you don't, in reality. Alrighty, oh, uh, man. We're doing kind of pretty difficult against this guy for some fucking reason. Alrighty, Artemis, land that shit on that weapon already, man. 
God damn it. Who is that? Dexterity. All right, you guys. Yeah, you know, fuck your Christmas bonus. I can tell you that right now. All right, so their shields are down now at least. Uh, okay, come on, guys. All right, we're getting pretty fucking low on health here. It's kind of really worrisome now. Artemis, I'm going to have to shoot another Artemis at their weapons because I can't really... Uh, too late. Get it. Get it. All right, good. Uh, you get a frantic message. Take everything we have. Just don't kill us. Accept their offer. Five fuel, two drone parts, 11 scrap. The fuel is good. The scrap is kind of shitty. I don't really care about the drone parts. Um, no. Fuck that. Okay, well, that's... <laughs> Should have thought about that twice before that uh, oxygen went out right there. Alrighty. Let me have Banks move the fuck out of the way. Uh, I, I fuck this ship. How about that? I'm really agitated with this ship. So you land... Ah! Dexterity? You're kind of losing it for us here, buddy. I just need to land one more shot in there, man. Just fucking get that done already. Alright, we're losing uh, oxygen like hell, too. So we gotta hurry it up here. Alright, finally they went down. Turn on. Open this up. Banksy, go fix that really quickly. Dexterity, give him a hand. And, uh, unfortunately, we, uh, should have taken their deal. Nah, that sucked. Alrighty, so that was pretty much a waste of time and waste of uh, resource, essentially. And we are a lot closer to death now as well, so... It's really terrible. This is a really bad, uh, initial, uh... I guess excursion on the Kestro and whatnot and FTO in general. All right, so let's jump off over here to a store, which is goddamn a godsend at this point. Not that I really have anything to bargain with anyway. I only have 88 scrap. However, we're going to definitely use that to fix our hole, which is pretty much the priority at the moment. This is good for now. Drone control, defense, uh, anti-ship, you know, drone control to Major Tom. Uh, you're not going to sell any of my weapons. Uh, I could fix this a bit more, but I'm not going to do that. I could buy a few more missiles, but I'm also not going to do that. Let me hold off. So, we're going to have to jump over here, and then I'm going to jump into the nebula to kind of uh, lose the uh, rebel fleet from capturing us here. Refueling station. Uh, I guess I'll take the second option. Three extra fuel isn't that bad of a deal. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's just jump to the nebula now. Nebulas, you know, kind of kind of bite you in the ass, and this one isn't. It's hard to see why, but this beacon is apparently a tourist destination. One of the ships at the small station is offering a deal. Trade three missiles for two drone parts. That sucked. I don't use drone parts, bro. Alrighty, so after that, let's just uh, jump here and back into the nebula. How about that? Kind of maximize our uh, beacon per sector, essentially. You stumble across a forward, uh, a forward scout of the Rebel fleet. They are powering up their FTL. If they get away, they will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. All right, you pussies. And they're going to have a drone as well. So Artemis, uh, I need you to kind of land. Oh, they only have a drone. Is that a laser drone or? No, no, it's a laser drone. All right. So, or my bad. I meant beam drone. Beams, lasers, fucking same thing to a plebe like me. Artemis, let's go and land you. Eh. Let's go for the cockpit, because I, I really don't need them to get away. And that is going to land good. So now burst laser onto... Let's go with shields. Good. And now, Artemis, you're pretty much done for. Not not like, you know, in the ominous term where you're going to die. But just uh, done for now, because uh, they shouldn't get away now. I'm going to shoot a little burst. Okay, well, I spoke too soon. They might actually... Hopefully this lands. Sorry, that landed perfectly. Artemis, I could send you out there, but I'm gonna hold off. And let's send another one down to their shields. Okay, uh, I'm a little bit worried now. Uh, okay, come on. We got one more hit to land in there. Just come on, come on, do it. Come on, dexterity. This is a, this is a dexterity. Earn your keep, right? There we go. And, uh, obviously, because I'm amazing, I just upgraded my piloting skills, you know, fucking Han Solo up in this shit. So, their ship breaks apart, and you are relieved to know that you are still one step ahead of the fleet. One missile, one drone part, and 19 scrap. Alrighty. That'll show them, that's for sure. So, let us, uh, jump back into the nebula here and kind of lose these fuckers. I'm an amazing pilot, let me tell you. Fear of flying, believe me. <laughs> I don't get on planes, but I'm an amazing pilot. Figure that out. You feel naked without functioning sensors. You have expected rebel ship to appear from behind, a cloud at any moment, but none comes. So that's a peaceful, uh, nebula. So can we jump? Where should we jump? Let's jump over here to see if we can kind of visit down over here. Maybe if we want to kind of play it a little bit dangerously, kind of like Polly dangerously. 
Uh, your ship emerges quite far away from the beacon. You see your rebel ship waiting nearby, undoubtedly stationed to look for you. Attack the ship or attack, attempt to remain concealed. Fucking attack the ship, bro, alright? You want to come at me then? Believe me, I'm not hard to find. Artemis, uh, Artemis up to, um, let's say... Let's say Artemis to the weapons. And let's see, other than that, burst laser, if we land this, I'm gonna probably go for, I guess, their shields, might as well. They're not trying to escape, so really no reason. Let's dodge that. Thank you, Carlton Banks. And so we did land that on their uh, weapon. However, their shield, or, I mean, their weapon seems to be kind of strong because it's only yellow. So let's go with um, burst laser to shields. Not bad, not bad. And now let's actually try to continue taking down their weapons. I'm going to hold off on the Artemis shot for now. If I need to use it, or if it needs to use it, apparently I'm fucking Golem now from Lord of the Rings. If I need to use it, then I will, but I don't think it should come down to that. Burst laser, let's go with the cockpit now, just in case. It'll kind of make it easier in case uh, they want to start being fancy and dodging my shots and whatnot. So send that in there already. And see exactly what I said, now they're trying to get the hell out of here. Um, Artemis, I guess we could send that shit to, might as well just send it off. Good. Well, it's only yellow. These guys have uh, quite some ridiculous, uh, not dodging, but health on them, apparently. So this should do it. Perfect. So I spent a missile on this, but at least I kind of kept them away, and we did get a missile out of it in two few and 22 scraps, so I'm perfectly fine with that. So uh, we've kind of essentially pulled the feet uh, from the... Uh, we've actually, you know, got victory out of the uh, Jaws of the Feet here, or to an extent for now. We were looking pretty bad a few... Uh, uh, sections b behind there. So let's jump here, and then we could go up here and exit if need be. Yeah, let's uh, let's uh, let's live dangerously, as I said, and uh, hopefully, kind of pays off for us. Let's go ahead and eat the civilian ship, because I want some rewards. I, I do everything for uh, greed, out of uh, by the way. Now I'm gonna help you out. You better give me something for it. So Artemis, let's go ahead and um, take care of their weapons right off the bat. I don't want them to be taking any uh. Unwanting missiles to the face and whatnot. Falcon and Dexterity could probably use a little bit of uh, time in the health room at some point, and that missile did land, but that's fine. Their weapons are now down. So just burst laser through the shield and go for the cockpit and pretty much uh, call it quits here. And while I do that, well, wow, the game does that. Let me go ahead and get some coffee here. All right, that's good. And let's go ahead and back to the shields one more time. So basically, um, long-term plans for this is obviously a FTL. I'm gonna make it a series for the meantime. I'm also looking at some other games that I kind of make a series of, so I'm kind of balancing a few things right now. The ship breaks apart. You hasten to contact the civilian ship. Three fuel, two missiles, 11 scrap, so that's good. The civilian ship's gonna uh, heal us a bit too, which is good. A few scrap as well. This sector has become increasingly dangerous for friends of the Federation. I think my crew can patch up some of your whole damages. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Alrighty. Now I could jump. You know, I could be dangerous and kind of jump over here and then up. Uh, I won't do it, though. Uh, let me just jump. Maybe I could do two nebulas before the exit. Ah, oh, we're going to have a goddamn thunderstorm here. You jump into the middle of a plasma storm. Oh, plasma storm. Sorry, FTL. Plasma, thunderstorms. I'm only used to thunderstorms in my lifespan. Uh, I haven't run, in, run into any plasma storms in my 20-something uh, years of life. You jump into the middle of a plasma storm. Multiple recently incapacitated ships from the shadows, briefly illuminated by the light. Manually research, or research, not research, but manually search, the wreckage for survivors and equipment, or avoid the risk and wait to jump away and skate it. Let's go and, let's go and check it out. Among the junk and scrap, you find salvageable drone schematics. You decide to quit while well ahead and prepare to jump with your recent find. 21 scrap, anti-ship drone mark 1. Alrighty, that works out. I can sell that for sure. And we're gonna definitely have one more chance on another nebula, so let's find what's over here. No plasma storm, quote-unquote. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. However, without functioning sensors, it is impossible to tell what is inside. Attack the automated ship to get to the station or avoid provoking the ship. Let's attack it. Again. I always think ahead. I mean, I always think with my head and so, or not with my head. I always think with my penis instead of my head, which is pretty much the problem here. All right, so Artemis, uh, they have no shields. Sucks for them. Burst laser. Burst laser all up in those weapons. How about that? 
They're gonna probably have decent dodging though, just because they have no shields, I'd imagine. So hopefully my burst laser does enough work over here. Alrighty, so we did dodge that. Thank you, Carlton Banks, and thank uh, thank you, uh, YPKA, Mr. Falcon, an amazing uh, pilot himself. And now they only have one weapon, so let's go and just shoot at their cockpit, take down their dodging ability, and pretty much call this quits as well. And we're gonna be able to jump into the next sector. Uh, how we're gonna be rolling with these for the most part is um, we're gonna do one sector per episode, I'd imagine, just to kind of keep it uh, time friendly. I don't want to like you know sit here and have you guys sit here for an hour while you like you know watch a video. Uh, I'm personally into that, but I know that a lot of viewers, you know, just rather keep something between like the 15-20 minute range, so might as well keep up that. You salvage what you can uh, find from the broken ship, 19 scrap. Investigate the station. The station is a storage site for various resources. You salvage everything possible. 3 fuel, 1 drone part, 13 scraps. That's good. Alright, so we're gonna definitely go into the exit now, and I'd say this was a relatively good sector. Uh, we haven't got any items, unfortunately, but... We are pretty good in resources in terms of missiles and fuel, and our health's kind of back up. Our scrap's kind of slowly uh, climbing up as well. This long-range beacon is almost hidden within the nebula. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Alright, and let's go and jump into the next sector before we call it quits for today. Let's see, uh, Pirate Controlled or Mantis Homeworld? Yeah, I don't really want to fuck with Mantis. <laughs> or, not Mantis, but... Well, yeah, Mantis, I'd imagine that's the uh, plural form of Mantis. Uh, I really don't want to mess with Manti, man. They're, they're really angry. They're angry individuals. They're kind of like the shopkeeper in Spelunky. You don't fuck with those guys. So let's go with the pirate control sector. At least I can kind of deal with humans. I, I'd imagine humans could be resor uh, reasoned with. If you're a Manti and you're, or a Mantis, and you're watching my video, then I apologize. I'm not saying that your race is like, you know, a very, you know, berserk type of race. But, uh, you know, uh, I, I imagine you're capable of reasoning. But uh, I haven't run into it just yet in FDL. So either way, guys, uh, let's go ahead and call it quits right here. And we're going to pick up from the third sector next episode. Um, be sure to drop any comments, hints, and whatnot. Uh, or if you just want to shoot the shit in the comments, go ahead and do so. Or, you know, pretty much uh, burn my name in effigy. Perfectly fine. It's your prerogative to do so. Um, if you did enjoy the video, though, please consider leaving a like. It helps me get my product out there. And if you're enjoying it, some other people might as well. Either way, guys, I will catch you next time.